Out there this morning, we're starting to notice a few clouds, and we'll see a mix of sun and clouds out there for much of the day, and then increasing cloud cover, especially later on this afternoon into that early evening commute. We'll be a bit breezy at times, but overall, not too bad. Shower chances hold off to at least late tonight, especially for the southernmost parts of our viewing area. We'll likely see a few showers between 9 p.m. and midnight. We'll be sun-filled, though, Wednesday and Thursday. It looks like early Thursday morning, though, will be a bit on the colder side as we're going to be tracking those mainly clear skies and high pressure sliding by rain chances though return as we get towards later on on Friday and that continues into early Saturday. I have more details on that coming up, but out there right now, satellite radar showing us we are dry in terms of radar satellite, though, showing us some cloud cover out there this morning, really pushing across much of the southern half of the viewing area off towards the north. Hagerstown, just a few clouds here and there, but overall mainly clear. Also seeing those mainly clear conditions back out towards the westernmost parts of Maryland. Now, in terms of temperatures right now, those are starting off in the 40s for much of the area. Do see a few 30s, though, and we're seeing that's the case in Frederick, Manassas, as well as Lorraine, and even out towards Waldorf. Those are some of the colder spots on the map. Looks like Frederick, though, is the coldest, coming in at 34 degrees. Noticing a breeze picking up mainly out of the west northwest, between 3 to 10 miles per hour. That wind will likely increase through the afternoon. And aside from that, we're going to be watching for some sunny breaks through the day today, but likely tracking more clouds than sun developing by about 3 p.m. So as the kids are heading home from school, we'll likely seeing more of the clouds out there this afternoon. And a especially for that evening commute too. A few of those showers, a little bit of that green picking up on the radar down towards the south, especially down towards Culpeper County, and even down towards Spotsylvania County. By about 9, 10, 11 p.m. tonight, those should be out of here just after midnight, and then we should see drier conditions. High pressure will, will return for our Wednesday and Thursday, providing mainly sun-filled skies both of those days. Not only that, with that high pressure overhead, that brings us calm conditions and the clear conditions through the overnight Wednesday night into Thursday, and that will allow those temperatures drop likely starting off in the 30s early Thursday morning, but then rebounding back quite nicely as we get towards your Thursday afternoon, which is great timing for opening day at Nats Park. We'll see those temperatures in the mid upper 50s that day and under mainly sun filled skies. As we get towards Friday, we start off with the sunshine and also noticing increasing wind out of the south that southerly flow, providing us with warmer temperatures for the end of the week and for Saturday as well. But like I mentioned before, we're going to be tracking the rain chances too. So we start off with the sunshine Friday and then we start to notice increasing cloud cover, especially later on in the afternoon and into the early evening hours. And then we'll be watching for those showers to slide on through and we'll likely see the rain chances increase Friday night and into early Saturday morning. By about midday, though, maybe that uh, lingering sprinkle for DC and then we'll be drying things out. But highs today, we'll be seeing those low to mid 50s to the north, upper 50s, sorry, about 60 farther south. Tonight, those temperatures falling back in the 30s to low 40s. And by tomorrow, we're talking upper 50s to low 60s for your Wednesday. Wednesday is looking quite nice out there. Thursday also nice, but again, a little bit on the colder side in the morning. And then we're right near 70 on Friday. Those rain chances move in just in time for Friday night. A few of those showers into early Saturday. Highs low to mid 70s. Then we're right around 60, which is seasonable as we get towards the second half of this upcoming weekend. Shanika's here with another check of the roadways.